So, Einen schönen guten Morgen. Ähm ich habe heute einen interessanten äh, Titel für die Klasse, ähm, etwas provokant und vielleicht nicht gleich einzusehen. Ähm, der heißt Don't change your life. Don't change your life. Ja. Ähm. <lacht> ähm. We have arrived in November. This is a November class and uh, in the darkest time of the year, maybe. And the time that is dedicated to uh, the people that have gone. And uh, for some people, not that easy to, to, to take this time. And, Uh, for for spiritual people or for for everybody at all, I it mean, it's kind of interest. It's always the most interesting thing how to act within darker times, how to act within crisis, and um, yeah, uh, times that seem to be a bit more difficult to to live and. Der, das ist der Moment, wo sich sozusagen Spiritualität oder eine gewisse, eine gewisse, ein gewisser Level von, von tieferem Umgang mit sich, sich am besten ausweist. Ja, an, diesem, an dieser Stelle, wo Dinge nicht leicht gehen oder wo Dinge auf einen zukommen oder einfach eine Energie da ist, die sich manchmal nicht so leicht tragen lässt. Ja. Und ich spüre da immer auch ein großes Bedürfnis, immer wenn im Newsletter solche Themen, solche Themen angeschlagen werden, gibt es am meisten Response. Ja? Immer wenn es irgendwie darum geht, durch etwas hindurchzukommen, ähm, wo man eigentlich nicht sein will, aber gerade ist. Ja? Das ist immer das, wo es, wo es am interessantesten ist, glaube ich. Ja? Wenn es einem super gut geht und man alles nur feiert, okay, aber wir sind halt auch nicht immer da und Don't change your life. That means um, uh, can we act with, with patience and uh, trust in, in times of difficulties, in times of crisis? Can we stay calm in this moment? And can we just follow all the things that we normally do yeah, without changing? So can we follow our diet, even when the things does not make sense that much? Can we read a book, even when we don't get the content completely? Can we go in nature, even when we are kind of separated to it? Can we uh, do all the things we have once accepted as good for our life? Can we go on with these things, uh, even when they are not that rich or that They don't uh, feel that uh, um, the volume of these things is not that clear that, that we can take. But can we go on nevertheless? And uh, we are not to, to look for very weird things to this at a site, taking uh, any kind of drugs, whatever. Uh, 
this is a this is a main thing um, to to keep peace and calm in the moment of uh, lower energy or um, of problems anyhow. And can we have a practice nevertheless, even when the practice uh, seems to be a bit uh, uh, out of sense or uh, not that easy? Can we just go on? So we want to try this. I want to try to to just go on and um, keeping the the window open. Um, that a new path and another path can show up. Es gibt Momente, wo wir uns nicht immer selber aus allem rausziehen können, ja, wo es nicht geht, dass jede Technik greift, die wir haben, um dieses Leben zu meistern. Dann bleibt uns nur, still zu bleiben und das Fenster offen zu halten, in der Stille, durch die Stille. Nicht immer haben wir die richtige Technik bei der Hand ja, und können uns selber helfen. Dann geht es nur über die Stille und über den Glauben und über die Uh, ja, über das Warten können, über die Devotion, uh, die Dinge trotzdem ihren Lauf gehen zu lassen, bis wir wieder im Flow uns wiederfinden. Ja. Das ist sehr wichtig. Nicht abzudriften, nicht abzudrehen, uh, wenn es mal komisch kommt im Leben. Ja. Gut, lass uns schauen, wie, wie das in der Praxis aussieht, uh, in der Yoga-Praxis aussieht. You have your sits, you have your sitting, and uh, you're not doing something different with what you do all the time. And you, you just feel you're sitting, you don't need to invent your sitting newly today. Uh, you have one leg in front of the other, and that's it. And try to have trust in your sitting, and this is the most peaceful form you can have with your body. Yeah, besides Shavasana, the sitting and the lay down pose. So, and please begin to uh, sense into, into the sitting uh, so that you feel um, you begin to move slightly and giving massage to, uh, to your joints and to the tissue. Uh, by increasing distances and playing around with um, with uh, options. Yes, I see in the morning some feet are way more uh, uh, crossed than open. So very normal. Just just try your range or look for your range. Versucht deine Reichweite zu äh, ausloten. Ich sage gar nicht zu vergrößern, sondern vielleicht auch einfach nur zu gucken, was jetzt geht, was jetzt überhaupt deine Reichweite ist. Just check out what's going on by, by movement. Can you uh, swing the, the, the spine out and diverse to different sides? To give a signal to the body that we are reflecting on it self by this practice. Uh -huh. Yeah, you have a front, this front leg, you are working with the front leg, you can uh, point the foot, you can uh, open the foot completely out. Uh -huh. Having the full range of this little hip joint thing. Yeah. yeah. And you see with the other hand, I try to keep the other leg open. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I try to go right to the right. Good. Yeah. How much do you get on the ground from your surface, from your surface surface? Can you touch this, the, the ground by uh, the most part of your posterior line? Yeah. In the hamstrings, hamstrings completely down into the floor. 
and let yourself fall into gravity and stretch into gravity. Yeah, wherever you you feel to open. Yeah, in the shoulder, in the neck, or in the lower back, or in the hamstring, you feel it. Uh -huh. That's it. Uh -huh. yeah. And there is no thinking about changing anything. You just follow uh, what follow your senses. You follow what you experience in the moment. Uh, and we are not thinking about effects. Ja, ob du danach davon irgendwas hast, darüber denken wir überhaupt nicht nach. Wir bleiben einfach in der Sache. Das unterscheidet uns von Physiotherapie. Ja? Da glaubt man, er macht was und danach geht es einem gut. Das glauben wir erstmal gar nicht. Wir glauben nur daran, was wir gerade spüren. Mhm. Ja, wir haben keinerlei Versprechungen. Wir haben nur den Körper, so wie er sich jetzt zeigt. Yeah. The body as it is now at 9.46 Wednesday, 3rd of November. That's it. Yeah. And you change your legs <coughs> and you have not done until now. And you, you go on with the bounce. You try to connect your, your mind to the, to the happenings on, at the tissue. In the, in, your, in the tissue. I'm sure you feel more the tissue than your bones. <laughs> Yeah. Or the tendons. When you go more near to the to the pelvis, you feel the the, the more thinner parts. Yeah, when the muscle is going to be a tendon. Yeah. And or near the knee, maybe. And you, you really stretch out the, the, the heel and you give a bit more of massage from with your hand. So maybe you you go to reach out to the foot. You're, you're stretching the back, the sides of the waistline, <clears throat> getting the belly even deeper down to the floor. Mm -hmm. And you just uh, send through the now as it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are bouncing, lifting the butt up, having shoulders in movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you sit deeply back again. Good. Okay, and maybe you bring your arms oh, far back, your hands so that you feel a very long and uh, stretched uh, front side of the body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bringing your fingers strongly pushing into the floor, lifting your heart up, lifting your heart up, mm -hmm. bringing your shoulder blades into the center of your back, kind of this. And when you have good range, you, in, you, you bring your hands into one, you interlace your fingers and you play around with this. Yeah, bringing the shoulders down to one side, to the other side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stretching the front, hiding your arms behind your back. Yeah. Good. Oh, wieder rechtes Knie an, ja. Nimmst ein bisschen zurück. Oh, das. Sehr schön. Feder noch mal ein bisschen auf den Fuß drauf. Spüre wieder das. Der Fuß vorn. Ja, ein langer Fuß. Manche nehmen das sehr schnell wahr. Ich zum Beispiel, deswegen erzähle ich es wahrscheinlich. Ja, aber du bestimmt auch nicht. Oder? Ja, vorne der Fuß noch mal in den Stretch, weil dann kommt es auch in diese Position. Mhm. Kommst noch mal zurück. Feder ist noch mal ein paar Mal in diesem Sitz auf die Füße zu. Mhm. Ja. However, your knees appear in the pose. Just, just uh, try to uh, stay calm, stay calm with what happens. Nothing happens actually. Yeah. And we give a turn to the left. 
yeah not changing anything inside the the process of moving within diversity goes on and on you you turn to the side in your way so that you feel your tissue you lean back you lean forward you stretch underneath the armpit find as many options as you can for doing so yeah reaching out of the pelvis with your with your spine mm -hmm. getting long in the torso in the trunk yeah nice okay it's always a new just a new form for feeling that you have in the rotation good huh and you do so to the other side you you, you feel when you have the backhand pushing into the floor you you get off a bit easier and you have been more power to stretch and to feel the happening in the side of the ribs. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are pointing out always with the one knee. Yeah, that is opposite to your torso movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is not coming forward. Keep it up. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Good. Then you come up. Mm -hmm. You do some more circlings. Maybe you you change to have a bit more diversity in the hips, uh, and you begin to circle around. Mm -hmm. But not in a trance way. This this kind of movement is mostly used for uh, in Kundalini, for instance, to to get in a trance. We, we are not looking for that. We, you try to. Uh, keep every position very conscious yeah so that you maybe stop uh, in the circle and you savor a bit more this one moment in the circle ja du verkostest die einzelnen momente des circles etwas stärker du kreist da nicht nur rum sondern du willst ja anschließen an dich und nicht raus aus dir Gut. Okay. Nach vorne, nach hinten, spür die Beckenkippung. Mhm. Okay, sehr schön. Und immer wieder die Füße nochmal ein Stück auseinander genommen hier. Weil die nächste Position folgt dann aus dieser, wenn du die Füße auseinander ziehst, kommen sie voreinander. Mhm. Sehr gut, dann ging gut, ne? Sehr schön. Ich habe genau gesehen. Ja, das ist Flow. So entstehen Asanas. Irgendwann gehen die Knie so weit auseinander, dass die Füße in der Mitte landen und dann bist du da. Barakunasana. Okay. Und dann auch hier nochmal. Lehn dich rein in die Sache. Wir machen gleich viele Backbands auch. Lehn dich nochmal nach vor. Ja. Versuch nochmal unter die Achsel zu kommen. Try to increase the distance from groins and armpit yeah reaching out to the side opening the ribs yeah let your legs flat around yeah. and push against the floor that's it yeah into the other side try to open the sides mm -hmm. that's it yeah your breath Uh, it's coming in and out very uh, out of any uh, willpower you just let it go good wonderful and maybe you bring your hands then once more backwards yeah you're using them backwards pushing the floor backwards and leaning forward all of this again stretching your neck area collarbone shoulder parts and take time until you really connect to it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, maybe you integrate your, your consciousness about breath. When you take time. Okay, wonderful. And once more, your hands into each other. And you do again, stretching backwards and you stretch forward. Yeah, to the sides, to the sides. Go diverse. Yeah, yeah, immer wieder, genau, ja, lass mal runter machen, bang, oh, genau, <lacht> oh, wunderbar, das, ja, du hast einfach nur Umgang mit dem, was du hast und du bist damit völlig klar, ja, und bist überrascht, was vielleicht auch geht, irgendwann immer mehr, ja, mhm, mhm, okay, gut, und von hier aus, Kommst du raus und nimmst die Beine noch mal völlig auseinander. Mhm. Das, gleich noch mal raus. Ja. Schau mal, wo sie erstmal landen und dann regelst du dich da langsam etwas tiefer hinein. Ja. ja, indem du dich weiter nach vorne mogelst mit dem Becken. You try to uh, walk, walk forward with the pelvis letting the Legs go aside, playing with the heels. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, wunderbar. Das Becken kommt weit nach vorne gerollt. You roll backwards and forward. And you try to keep the full body, the entire body, be integrated in the movement. Yeah, when you when you when you roll the pelvis, the, you have movement until the crown of the head. And when you move the pelvis, your feet come in, your feet go out, in and out. Yes, mm -hmm. and you can lean to the sides as it is possible in your range. Yeah, in your range of movement. You give massage to the front side of the boy of the upper thighs, yeah, forward, yeah, long distances again in between groins and armpits, reaching out, reaching out, yes, uh -huh. turning, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. Turn your uh, spine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just let, let the things be diverse and connected. This is the sense in yoga. Yeah. Bounce around and waste your time mm -hmm. in being trusting into yoga asana poses that they guide you back into the flow of life. Changing anything, just staying a while in things in like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Good. And You roll, you roll back and you let your legs come in. Mm -hmm. Bringing your hands to the side of your legs, lifting the butt up mm -hmm. and bringing the butt a bit more back. Leaning forward, letting the forward bend appear to you as it is now. Yeah, maybe one side of the back is showing up with tightness or anything here in this moment. Left and right flank, again, very long and you're stretching backwards and forward. Mm -hmm. Keeping your feet kind of uh, present. That means they are... Uh, They have movement like against a wall forward and as your inner ties forward and not like that. Yes. Das ist immer für dich sehr wichtig. 
Das, das nennen wir Spiralen. Ja? Das kommt aus so einer bestimmten an Ansicht, dass du Spiralen im Körper hast. Ja? So wie die DNA. Helix ist so ein, so ein Drive da drin. Ja? Dass die, und das kommt in den Füßen eben auch an. Nach vorne. Gut. Okay. Sehr schön. Dann lass uns noch eine Sache anschließen, nachdem ihr das ausexploriert habt hier. Ja. Versucht zu gucken, dass ihr den Boden nutzt, die Beine nutzt die, die, und die Ganzheitlichkeit der Ansprache nutzt. Der Rücken, die Beine, nicht nur auf die Beine gehen die ganze Zeit, auch gucken, dass der Rücken mal reinkommt in die Sache, ins Gefühl kommt, der untere Rücken, der mittlere. Ja, vielleicht auch durch die Kraft der Hände, auch die Muskulatur unter den Achseln hier. Ja, try to sense your power in the muscles behind your armpits. As you feel the stretch of the fascia, of the lower fascia, Thoracolumbalfascia, diese tiefe Fascia im Unterrücken. Gut. Und dann richtest du dich hier nochmal auf und das Ganze nochmal nach hinten. Ja? Die Arme zurück. Try to stretch your arms backwards and find the floor and play around with the upper part again. Yeah? This part is You feel better here than in the forward bend, maybe. Mm -hmm. Bringing your hands into hand into different position behind you, and you give a bit more of a turn, and having stretch in the side of the neck. Yeah, and having time with that. Yeah, left hand, right hand. Uh huh. Yeah, when you do it. Things up here, try to keep your legs in your um, conscious. Yeah, to mostly you begin to do something here and, and legs to begin to release completely. This is not what we are looking for. We, we try to keep everything, the whole body, to be aware of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Und dann kommst du nochmal mit, ich bringst die Hände nochmal ineinander, noch einmal ineinander, öffnest hier die Beine sehr klar, der ganze Körper sehr klar, du sitzt auf den Gesäßhöckern, ja, try to uh, roll onto the sitting bones. Can you feel them when you move your butt from side to side, forward and back? Uh -huh. Sitting bones. Ja. Yeah. I always remind myself on uh, the saying of Ilse Mittendorf, the uh, breathing teacher of Berlin. She said, sitting bones, this is the middle position for breathing. <clears throat> Looking for the sitting bones when you're sitting on a chair is kind of interesting for centering the body. Some kind of truth on it, I think. Yeah, for an upright body too. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Left leg to the side. And wonderful uh, sensing position because you can move even here out of the standing hand. You can give up some pushes. Ich sage in Deutsch immer, Du kannst ein bisschen gegen den Fuß gegen rammeln ja, oder etwas massierend hier wirken. Try to uh, give massages to the joints of the feet, to the toes maybe too. And you have stretch in the upper leg. Yeah. Okay. You will stretch the groins very soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just give massages to the skin. Ist alles gut, wenn man Krampfadern hat und so weiter. Immer schön massieren. Okay. Ja, mach das Knie ruhig mal dicht, richtig. Mal eine starke Beugung hier. Hat man meistens nur in dieser Position. Nicht mehr im Stehen. Okay. Ja, ja noch mal ein bisschen gegen mich und mein Bauch ein bisschen auf. Ja, genau, gut. Ja, okay. 
Gut, und dann nimmst du das nochmal raus und gehst nochmal zur anderen Seite. Genau. Ja, ja sehr schön, wenn du das kein elegantes Ding hast. Ja. Mhm. ja. Man sieht es, wenn, wenn das Gewebe einigermaßen fluide ist, dann gehen die Changes gut. Ja, dann gehen die Wechsel gut, wenn das leicht geht. Ja, wenn das Gewebe nach schnell adoptiert zu dem Bewegungswillen. Ja. Gut. If you can change with elegance, the tissue is kind of so pure. <lacht> So, and you, well, you're moving on the, on the foot, you're moving against the shin. Some of the shin on the floor, I haven't. Yeah, and you give as much stretch as you like on the front tie. Yeah. 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 Please keep your clothes and your pants short even in winter time the air the, the skin needs to breathe <clears throat> okay und von hier noch mal zurück genau. sehr schön okay und die füße noch einmal durchbewegt ja yeah. try to to look for the range of the feet ja yeah. Uh, feel the moment when maybe you produce a cramp in the calves when you point your feet as much as possible and stop or play with this moment. Yeah, when you feel your calves react. Good. Okay. Sehr schön. Uh, und dann schwingen wir die Beine einfach nach hinten. We just Uh, change position by getting the feet back and finding kneeling four feet. Good. Uh, you stay here a while and uh, you check for the range you have with fixed hands and fixed knees. Yeah, your feet are never fixed here. You try to uh, get clear with what is fixed in the floor and what is there for a movie or can be appear as, as a movie. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Far forward, far backwards, and of course diagonal. Yeah, so crossing the mat to the sides, to the left and to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, and stretching far back, far back, and waiting for the space that appears in the lower back and it, between the vertebrae, yeah, from to one side and to the other side. Yes, far deep, deep back. Good, and far forward too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Using the moment for your hands, for uh, sensing your, the, the range of the joints of hands, sensing power. Yeah, sensing power in between. Uh, Few times. Good. Okay. And you bring your feet into the floor, sensing your toes, joints of the toes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Play with this. Uh, up. Rise toes and lay down toes, mm -hmm. giving weight into the feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then bring both knees to the right. You're giving away the fixation, both knees to the right. Mm -hmm. And you sit deeply back, 
but you feel the option to lift the butt up. Yeah. You sense backwards, that's it. But you, you, you feel it, that you can come up. The right hand is light, mm -hmm. that's it. And you stretch maybe right knee and right arm apart from each other. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right knee and right arm. Good. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're looking down to your left hand, maybe giving a bit more of rotation backwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The right foot standing here. Yeah. The left foot goes to the position of the right hand. Yeah, for a second. Sliding forward, just this. Sliding forward. Mm -hmm. So that you have entry in the, the backside of the leg to again. You're lengthening this pose in a kind of a variation of trikonasana here. Yeah. But you can always come back and calm down here. Mm -hmm. You see, it's all a flow of options you are using for deepening your sensing practice. Yeah. You can go into a very regular trikonasana too, if you like so. Mm -hmm. Wherever you want to do something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice session. Uh -huh. Good. Yeah. And stay here with the front leg in in the right side of the mat. Mm -hmm. And popping up with the right. Yeah. And keeping this right leg in the air but lifting the waistline and the side ribs up as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Feeling the, the weight of the leg and the push out of the left arm. Mm -hmm. The foot is kind of relaxed, but you are pushing your left foot against the floor and you bounce and pulse the one leg thing through. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Okay. Left hand. And open your groins first time, the right side. Mm -hmm. Right side. Yeah, you can bounce within the bows all the time. You bend the knee, you stretch the standing knee. Yeah, and you're looking for a long chain of interaction, right hand to right knee or right foot. Mm -hmm. The foot wants to show onto your head. Yeah. Good. And then you fall back with the right foot into the... Mm -hmm. And you come to the start, left foot back, you sit in here, you sit down, mm -hmm. and the right elbow goes down to the floor. Mm -hmm. Same time, your, your right foot turns backwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right hand is going to fix, be fixed, yes. Yeah, that's the hand right, genau. Good. And you turn your torso forward. Mm -hmm. And you go down with the right arm. Yes. That's it. Good. Good. Okay. Both hands fixed in the front. Knees come back to the mat. Yeah. Feet along and you sit deeply back, opening your knees. Mm -hmm. Maybe you stretch your heart forward, 
using your hands in the mud to st stretch your front side. Uh, jetzt das Herz mehr nach oben müssen. Ja, versuch den Rücken mehr nach innen zu biegen. Ja, genau. Jemand zieht dir die Oberarme hoch und schiebt dich am Kreuzbein zurück. Mhm. Oh, can you feel your, the muscles of your back are working now? Ja, contracting a bit. Uh -huh. After a stretch. Okay, good. Okay, and then you come up again, knees a bit more in. You change your hand position out and back. Mm -hmm. Using uh, this kind of move backwards to feel your fingers. Mm -hmm. Maybe on one hand only. And on the other hand after. Mm -hmm. Yeah, always looking for power and stretch, same time. Mm -hmm. Good, good. And we, as we did a few times uh, before, we go to sensing the power here too, kind of variation of Chaturanga, deeply down and up, elbows near to the body. And Michi, come on. And up. Don't fall in whole court. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's it. Okay, nice. Can you keep your hands completely backwards when you do so? Sometimes they slide out again. Yeah. Try to keep them backwards. They are looking to your knees. But then you go down in battery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you turn your hands back. Yeah. Come out of this. Both knees to the left. Uh -huh. But we are not sitting down. We, we keep it moving upwards. Yeah, we sit down later. We, we first we stay on the way to the front of the mat. You sit deeply back and you go out. Mm -hmm. Stretch. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Then beginning to play around with the right foot, sliding forward. Mm -hmm. Can you really slide the foot? Mm -hmm. And you go into this new uh, option for sensing. Mm -hmm. Wherever you find power out of the right arm, power in the body, but stretching at the same time. Moving forward and backwards. Ja. Ein sehr schräges Trikonasana oder ein ordentliches. Ja. Gerne auch mal klassisch. Mhm. Ja, klassisch. Schaut uns immer nach oben. Mhm. Ja, sehr beliebt die Asana, weil sie in alle Richtungen führt. Ja, aber die, die Ausrichtungen aller Glieder in so verschiedene Richtungen zeigen und dadurch viel Platz schaffen oder die Empfindung von Raum auch schaffen. Ja. Okay, and one and hop onto the right foot. Hop up. Mm -hmm. Let your head hang into gravity and your leg into gravity. Du kannst es ausschütteln, das linke Bein, aber das, aber das rechte hat Kraft. Das rechte hat Kraft gegen den Boden und schiebt die Hüfte hoch. The right foot is pressing against the floor and is lifting the pelvis up at the waistline. Your body hangs down into gravity. Now yeah, play with that power within gravity, letting go within gravity. 
So we balance power and let him go. Okay. And you drop back with the left. Yeah. You drop back. And you slide the right foot back again. Sit down here. Both hands in front. Left foot turns out. Mm -hmm. Direct your heart forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone is lifting your left upper arm forward and up so that your armpit is very hollowed under the left. Try to bring your shoulders in line. Yeah. What have you what you have to do for that? Shoulders in line. You can see your left shoulder. Is it far back or is it in front? Yes. Okay. Mm. The left shoulder forward. The left flank is open. Yeah. Yeah. No. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then bring both knees in again, hovering over the floor. Mm -hmm. For some belly actions, some actions in the thighs, this connection. Keep it low first, lean a bit more forward and back. Mm -hmm. Good. Keep it bouncy and diverse before you go up with the butt into the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Up and up. And you let go into the heels. Mm -hmm. Power in the hands, power in the arms. And letting go in the torso. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Touching down the forehead. Maybe you use only one foot doing so. Mm -hmm. Keeping length. Deep meditation pose. Power and stretch same time. Mm -hmm. Good. Walking on the spot. Keeping your heart a bit more forward, a bit more downward. Yeah. Lifting your armpits forward and letting them go a bit more towards the feet. Yeah. Okay. Left foot. Stepping forward a few centimeters, a few centimeters. Bisschen zurück. Genau. Rechte Leiste noch mal öffnen. Noch einmal die rechte Leiste. Right groins are opening again. Yeah. Play with this turn of the pelvis, right side over left. Yeah. And maybe you are pushing out of the standing leg up and then you turn back. Yeah. You can play around with that. Left leg bouncing. Your head over the left shoulder. Mm -hmm. Stück richtig durch. Und Kraft im linken Bein. Gut. Rechter Fuß Richtung Kopf. Ja. Oh. Gut. Oh. Und wieder zurücktreten. Ja. Yeah. Using the other foot in the floor. Mm -hmm. Finding a, a spot where you can ground the foot completely. Right hand turns out. And you're pushing into the right foot, opening the left side. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're going to extend, pushing out of the mat into the right foot with your hands out of the right hand. Left ribs are open, left groin is open. And you're bending the knee up there. Yeah. Once you go down into the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The front side is very open. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And you come back into both feet. Mm -hmm. Keeping power in the arms by the fingertips you are using in the mat. Fingertips always finding a good contact to the floor. Okay, and then shoulders over hands once more here. Keeping that. Observing the back, the back. Okay. Yeah. Releasing one hand and releasing the other hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wonderful. Stepping a bit forward, bending the knees, looking forward to the hands. Mm -hmm. And give a slight hop towards your hands. Bend your knees, look forward, and a slight hop. And you land here, forward bend. Deep forward bend. Yes, <laughs> that should. Yeah, let your head hang down. Mm -hmm. And remind to the topic of the class, uh, don't change anything, just follow the happening, get calm within. However it feels like. Mm -hmm. Keeping the nervous system balanced is the main thing for healing. Hang out. Mm -hmm. And then lift your heart forward and up. Mm -hmm. Good. Bend your knees forward and sit down for a second into the heels. Mm -hmm. That keep your knees kind of very up into the armpits. Yeah, preparation for the crow. Yeah, but we go down, we we'll go back into forward bend again. Just guide your butt up into the ceiling and come out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Walk backwards with your hands behind your feet. Mm -hmm. Stretching your legs. Yeah. Good. Okay. And you look forward again. You open your heart forward again. Right. Bend your knees deeply, sit down, and connect your hands into Namaste. Yeah. Get your arms up beside your ears, stretching them out, sitting down, and you come up doing so for a second here. Yeah. Bring your arms far back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. And bring your arms down to the side to connect your fingers behind your head. Back again. And stretching your arms up. Yes. <clears throat> That's it. Yeah. Far back. Mm -hmm. Lifting up. Letting go. Stretching to one side. Yeah. Remembering the circling in the sitting, you do again. Yeah. But with a lot of consciousness, with a lot of sensing, looking for, the, for a big circle here. Using the full body to move and to find your way, yeah. Go as far as you can up, mm -hmm. good. Yeah, turn your hands maybe on the back and try to connect here. Mm -hmm. Once, yeah. Keeping your heart up, elbows move a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let this go again. Rest your elbows above your head. Yeah, once here. Stretch them up. Come onto the left standing leg. 
left standing leg, your elbows far back, yeah, and the right leg out of itself into a tree pose, into a tree pose, yeah, and your arms backwards, yeah, your, your pelvis slightly tipped, uh-huh, very long. And then you open up your arms as branches of a tree up as much as possible. And back. Your front side is open, your chin is up. Good. Okay. And then let your leg get released out of this. Mm -hmm. Stretch, feel. Yeah. And far back into the position. Good. Interlace your fingers, stretch your arms up and out. Yeah. Out as much as you can up. Mm -hmm. And back. Yeah. Good. And once more, grasp your elbows here. Mm -hmm. Left leg. Wants to find into a tree. Yeah, left leg. Get it in. Mm. Not using your hands doing so. Open up. Right leg. Stretching your branches out. Yeah. Very long and up. Yeah. And release the left foot out of this. Left foot out. And arms down to the side. Tadasana. Stay like this. Close your eyes and feel your neutral position. What that means to you. Neutral position. Mm -hmm. Where's the weight in the feet? How much your knees are stretched? What degree of tipping in the pelvis you feel? Is the belly hanging forward or is it kind of, kind of connected to the back area? Your chest, where is it? And your head, finally, regarding your spine down to the floor. Your arms to the side. Four, where they are, there they are. Breathing. Your upper chest is hovering above your belly. Do you feel the entire body at the same time? The entire body you experience at once. Full consciousness. Mm -hmm. Don't force yourself to stand still. There's no possibility for that. Gravity is looking for you all the time. So stay relaxed with that idea. You cannot calm down completely here. It's not possible. Good. And let me get your arms into your hands into Namaste again. Let me go back to the forward band by some muscular actions. Stretch your arms up again. Doing so, and you're looking for something to sit down backwards with your butt, keeping your hands kind of up and straight. Yeah, sit back, keeping your hands up, stretch them out. Yeah, and then you go down into forward back, slowly down. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Stay, stay here, walk on space, walk on the spot. Let your torso swing from side to side. Mm -hmm. 
Ya. Hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Bring your hands underneath your feet and walk onto your on your hands. Give massage to the root of the hands. Yeah, just giving weight and diverse weight onto the the start of the hands. Mm -hmm. You can lift your heels a few times. Uh -huh. Massage inside towards the thumb, outside towards the little finger. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you release this. Then you hop back, both hands into the floor, You're lifting the heels up, You're lifting the toes up, and you jump back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One leg stretch, the other leg stretch out. You can change. Good. Okay, right hand turns out a bit to the right. Both knees to the left. Good. Left foot slides out behind your right foot. And you sense this moment of the wild thing. That means you use different degrees of bending forward or turning backwards. Mm -hmm. You can just feet can swivel along the spot to the side or backwards, pushing your feet against the floor that you get long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your head is relaxed. Good. And your feet swivel in again. Left hand, left foot. Right hand is relaxed. Pushing backwards. Mm -hmm. One more. Once more, you come forward with your shoulders. Yeah. And one chaturanga deep down, keeping this. Mm -hmm. And come up again. Yes, both knees to the right. Right foot slides backwards. Give a big distance in between your feet if you like so, or smaller. Check out the differences. Mm -hmm. Maybe you stay here on this one leg and you stretch forward mm -hmm. so that your belly is completely open. Yeah. Good. Or you stand completely in the floor and you turn it up. Yeah. And you go back with the outer leg. Mm -hmm. Finding the spot for your hands, turning in again. Mm -hmm. Right foot, left foot, Finding the back, mm -hmm. both elbows into the floor. And stay here for a second, using your core, calming down the mind, breathing. Namaste hands if you like so. Slightly bent knees. Slightly tip pelvis, bouncy torso, shoulder blades apart from each other. Push your elbows down to the floor. Face is relaxed. Breath. 
Mm -hmm. And walk in a bit from here. Just walk in and walk in. Left foot. Standing. Mm -hmm. Head is relaxed. You're looking to your elbows. Left heel is down. Letting the heart melt throughout your shoulders. Yeah. Changing left foot bit back, right foot stepping forward until you find an interesting stretch. Pushing your elbows, your forearms into the floor, bouncing into the right heel. Mm -hmm. Good. Now you walk back, bringing the right hand in the floor, right hand in the floor, left hand in the floor, pushing back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very long flanks. Lines up. Hands pushing forward. Yeah. Yeah, you come to do it, you know. Okay. Good. Linker Fuß, etwas nach vorn. Noch eine Sache hier. Once more. Left foot stepping forward a bit. Right foot stretching out. Mm -hmm. Right foot is looking for the famous ceiling up there above your head with, with the feet pointed yeah keep your feet pointed and now you hop up looking for the ceiling a few times yeah the right foot is in your mind looking for the position up there against the ceiling that helps you standing yeah yeah Okay. Yeah, then good. Stay there. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Change legs. Right leg forward. Left stretches out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bend, not bend. Stretch the knee. Stretch the foot. Mm -hmm. And then looking up there for the ceiling mm -hmm. with the stretchy leg. Uh -huh. Umgekehrter Baum nennt man Handstand in Indien. Mm -hmm. Ademuka Frikshasa. Okay. Oh, du trittst nochmal zurück. Ja. Yeah. You're pushing that far back that your forearms go into the floor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you get your knees down into the floor. Letting yourself go deeply down to left and to right. Mm -hmm. Observing breath. Mm -hmm as it flows throughout your nose. Sitting to the right, sitting to the left, behind your shin. Yeah, a few times like that. Good. Sitting to the left, bringing the left arm over right. Mm -hmm. Once more, this kind of opening of the left flank, breathing, yes. Mm -hmm. Crossing your arms, lifting your armpit. Okay, and come back. Good. And to the other side. You sit to the right, but your right arm is going to the left. Mm -hmm. And your breathing is letting you go deeper into this. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. 
Oh, you slide back. Find into four feet kneeling. Mm -hmm. Bounce forward and back into your hands, into your feet. Mm -hmm. And we will come to Virasana by jumping forward with the knees in between your hands as they do in India. Yeah? Forward. And you sit in this position. This is out of the time before Iyengar has changed the yoga for Western people. <clears throat> this is 30 years, 30s. <clears throat> Good. You sit down, you breathe, and you don't change anything. You just feel the situation as it is. Your shoulders. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Good. Good. Then you bring your hands down to the floor again. And we try to hop back from here bringing your hands into the floor, lifting your knees and hopping out of this. Good. And let's go. Yes, it works. Both knees to the right. Mm -hmm. Sit down to this side. Yeah. Yeah. And in a stretchy manner, you, you go out with your left hand forward. The right knee may be backwards. And you stretch out forward. Mm -hmm. A big opening of the front side of the body again. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ja, versuch den Arm noch mehr nach vorne zu legen. Wo ist vorne? Anja? Da. Das. Das. Sogar noch ein Stückchen, Anja. Dann ist deine Schulter richtig offen. Genau. Ja, und dann das Ball mal hinter dich herum. Ganz genau. Ja, greif den Boden vor, Michi. Mit der linken Hand vorne den Boden greifen. Ganz genau, dass du einen Halt hast dort. Okay. Und dann das Bein dagegen stretchen lassen, gegen diese Öffnung. Den Rumpf drehen lassen. Hinter dich. Wieder zurück. Mhm. Using the, the range that you got by your practice, maybe. Yeah, your arms stretching out of the toes as if you wake up in the morning. Good. And you come to the back, bringing your legs in, coming back into the center of the mat, swiveling your body into the center. Right arm far out behind yourself, looking for the floor with the hand, looking for the floor, turning the hand down into the floor. Yes, turning the knees to the right, turning the, the torso to the left. To the right, maybe. Yeah. Same thing here. There's big distance in between front end and the knee in the air. Stretching. And then you begin to move this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Rekeln. Immer wieder rekeln, massieren, den Rücken am Boden. Nach vorne schauen, den Hals öffnen. Keep your throat open. And then you roll into the back. Swiveling both the whole body, the entire body, into the mat, center of the mat. Getting the knees, hands and namaste above your head, above your face, and bringing the knees into the armpit and keeping this for a second. 
Oh, 20 seconds. Ja. Ja, lass die Füße runter. Genau, aber lass die Knie unten in den Armen. Sehr schön. Ja, ja. Nimm mal die Ellbogen ein bisschen höher, Michi, sodass die Knie auch rein können in die Achseln. <lacht> Kopf unten liegen lassen. Kopf liegen lassen. Und dann hoch. Genau. Okay. And you release. Wonderful. Both arms backwards. Far out. Hands directed upwards. Stretch out both of your legs. 90 degree. The flat back in the floor. Bringing your legs out 60 degree. Keeping a belly kind of active. Stretching the legs, straight legs. 30 degree. Mm -hmm. 60 again. Yeah, your hands are not pressing down into the floor. Hands are free in the back. Good. And even lower. Mm -hmm. Keeping the mind completely relaxed. Yeah. And you let the feet go down and your complete body is going to relax all the muscles. Sliding your hands to the side. Breathing in and out a few times intensively before you're letting go breath. And you are sensing the body, sensing the presence of the body for a few minutes. Shavasana. We will be here for four to five minutes. If you like to use a blanket or something. Shoulders, collarbones relaxed, head is relaxed, arms and bones, arms and legs, <coughs> arm and bone relaxed, pelvis is heavy. Your body is laid down and you observe, you witness the body, the gravity of the body in the mat. There's no fighting against that anymore. All the muscles are relaxed. You don't change anything, you witness, you observe the body as it appears to you now.
You stay calm and peaceful with yourself. And this is the healing. Und Shavasana legst du alle Waffen nieder. Alles, was du dir angeeignet hast oder überlegt hast. Das ist pure devotion. Hingabe. The spirit takes over. Your windows open. You're not directing the spirit. The spirit is coming to you. Helping. Reconnecting. Giving trust. Balance. Sensing your body within all parts, same time. This is presence, time of no thinking. No thinking and no emotional attachment. This being, sein, And
Und dann erlebst du diesen Moment noch einmal in seiner ganzen Tiefe. You experience sensing a deeper, absolute and total sensing in its most fundamental depth so that you can save it deeply in the nervous system presence as your most natural state of being. So that you find back easily when you need so. You begin to move your fingers, your toes, your hands and feet on the way to your meditation seat. You go step by step, feet and hands, head swinging from side to side. Your arms are long out the side to your head. Pulling the knees in and to one side, turning the body to one side. Sensing this. And when you're ready, you come up to meditation seat. Or maybe you find back into the experience of Shavasana here. It's very different when legs are stretch or bent, and it's different when you have gravity in the play. Some muscle work is necessary that you can sit like that. Javasana, this is gone. Mostly. And you connect your hands into one for Namaste. The prayer pose of your hands. Observe the pauses of your breath, 20 seconds after exhalation, you pause easily. Otherwise there is some stress left in the body and you have to come back to the next class.
you know, inhale and exhale naturally. You savor this moment of peace. Because you're completely connected to the body, to the spirit. Don't change anything. Thank you very much. Namaste. Vielen Dank. Vielen lieben Dank. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>